I'm Daniel with Palm Videos Tech Support, and in this short tutorial, I'm going to go over playback or search. So, on the remote, locate the search button. It should be up top. It also is called the preset button. Go ahead and press that, and you'll get a search menu. I find the easiest one is the calendar search. So, let's go ahead and press enter while the calendar search is highlighted. That's going to give us this nice little calendar. Now, if you notice all the days are in white, that means that there's no recordings. If I move the mouse over or the cursor over, you'll see where it says the 28th is in yellow. So if there was previous recordings, the 27, 26, and so on would be yellow. So you would select the date that you want to go back to. In this example, I'm going to use the 28th. Press enter. And then it's going to give me the actual times that are recorded. Now this starts off at 12 o'clock in the morning, so there's one, there's two, there's three, etc, etc. Now, the ones in white have no recording. The ones in green have the recording. So the first recording is at 10 o'clock in, in the morning. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's choose, for example, let's see, we got 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, let's go to 2 o'clock. Let's see what we got recorded on 2 o'clock and press enter. Uh, it's just going to play back that camera that we have. I only have one camera hooked up, so there should only be one thing. Now, this is the recording during my last tutorial, which was um, the factory reset. Now, if we want to go ahead and speed it up, we can locate the fast button, which should be underneath the down directional button. As you can see, up in the top left-hand corner, it says 2, and then we got 4, and then we got... 8. It goes all the way up to 16. Now if we press the slow button, it'll instantly start to go in slow motion. And then we can continue to press the slow button to go at slower motions. And then we can go ahead and pause it by pressing the play pause button or play it back again. Now when we press pause and then play, it takes us back to live speed. Okay. I want to go ahead and press the stop button to stop the playback. And this will take us back to the live view. Okay, now let's go back over another search feature. Let's go and press the search slash preset button. And let's go to time search. In time search, we are given the option to search a particular time and date. So we can go Let's see, so 7-28-2009. Remember, the time that is right here is the first recording for that day. So the very first recording that we have for 7-28 of 09 is at 10-45. Let's go ahead and change that to 11-45. Let's, let's see what happened then. So locate the F positive button and press that when you're over top of 10. And that'll change that to 11-45. And let's go ahead and press the enter button, which will play back 11.45. Okay, so 11.45 we had some actual recording. Now if there was no recordings at 11.45, it would not let us select that date, or it would go to the next recording. So if it was the next recording was at 11.50, it would automatically go to 11.50. Okay, let's go ahead and press stop. And it'll take us back to the live view. Press the search button one more time. I'll go over one other search feature on here. And that is event search. We're over top of event search. Let's go ahead and press enter. And now you can see um, we have options for all the different events. Let's go down to event and then press the F positive. We got sensor, we got video loss, or motion. Let's go ahead and go to motion and press enter. Now, that'll give us all the different times and dates that there was motion recordings on 728. So let's go ahead and select, let's see here, let's go to, 1442. That's where it selected some motion and press enter to play that particular 
motion event on that particular camera. And I think this is actually picking up my computer monitor because it's been more than five seconds since the beginning of the, the motion event. Alright, so let's go ahead and press stop. And let's go back to search and let's select a different motion event. So we go down to event and we press enter. And then we change the event type to all or to motion, I'm sorry, from all to motion. And actually let's change the camera to channel one. And how I change all these is the F positive and F negative button, or should I say the F plus button and F minus button. On the front panel, the F positive button is also the freeze, and the F negative button is sequence, or SEQ. Okay, so let's go ahead and press enter, and that'll give us all the different motion event times. Let's go ahead and select another one. I just keep pressing down. Let's go to 1438 and press enter. Again, it may just be picking up the motion of my monitor. I don't see any other motion in there. Or let's fast forward and see what we got. Oh, there we go. We got Michael, the sales rep over there. He, he was moving around, I see, on that one. There I am. Okay, so this will take you to a motion event. I hadn't stopped, press stop to go back to the live view. And I think that's about it for the search features. Uh, there are a few, few other ones, but those are the main ones that you'll need to be using. So I'm just gonna press escape to go out of here, or actually I'm gonna go back into search. So the ones that we're concentrating are on calendar search, time search, and event search. Now in my next video tutorial, I'm going to go over how to back up information with the H.264 to be given to either a PlayStation or for your own personal records and how to view it on a PC once you've backed it up. All right, I'd like to thank you for watching this short tutorial and please give us a call at 1-800-618-7491, press option number 4 for technical support. Or you can always visit us at www.palmvid.com.